exciting. The name of the song is called The Recipe for Building This Nation. And it came about because, to, to be honest with you, I actually didn't even know this commission was happening. Um, somebody I met, teacher Eddie, and he told me, we were talking about music, and he was like, um, you know, I, I tell myself, you know, right now, Kai, we have no job. I said, those who do, do kind of depend on music, who do it professionally, or uh, don't have another source of income, we don't have no job. So I say, um, and he, he didn't have no carnival this year either. He was like, but I think, but they're doing an independence commission. I say, really? He said, yeah, some virtual independence commission. He said, they send it out, and we write, and we have a deadline. And I was like, really? So I say, give me some mark number. I get in touch with him, some mark. He said, yeah, he said, he sent it out, but I guess he sent it to the usual people who takes part every year, the season campaign in that competition. So I didn't see it as anything, but I said, well, when is the deadline? He tell me next week. I was like, wow. And I decided because genuinely I love Calypso. And I'm talking authentic Calypso, I love Calypso. It's not just because I'm a soccer artist that I love Calypso, specifically Calypso. I would be singing soccer even before 2010 when I started to go in Calypso Commission. I would never miss a semi finals. I might miss the match ground this Sunday night, but I'm never always in the semi finals. I go to right? 10 show, yeah, I loved Calypso. Well, look. The Queen of Calypso singing Sandra, who's my favorite Calypso singer Calypso in the world. Mm -hmm. Black Stalin, who's my favorite uh, male Calypso in the world. But he's on a sick bed as well. You know, so, and then I decided, well, hey, we ain't have no carnival. Why not? I mean, at least we ought to the thing, but this care could give me a, you know, keep keep the blood warm with it still. Mm -hmm. So I rushed and then get to work and decided, and I end up making the deadline. I um, actually sent it in the day when he sent it, there was something wrong because you know when you rush work, we had to resend it and then the actual days when we get when he got the final copy. And um, when he spoke to me, he told me, um, he said, we have a theme and we want all the artists to stick to the theme. You know, we want you to write around the theme. But when I look at it, knowing how a lot of times Calypso and sometimes write, you give a team and everybody, if everybody just writes straight on the team, you would have 10 songs in the commission that basically just saying the same thing we build in. We, we are resilient nation, we build in safer and stronger in the challenging times, and you hear those words just keep repeating. And I, say, I always try to be, I'm not that, I'm, I don't I think I'm that good at it, but I always try. So I said, you know, let me look for a fresh way to deal with it with the team. And I figured if we're building, we must have a plan. If you go to, if you're going to build a house, you have a plan. You must start at foundation and build up your house. You don't just go and just say house and it happens like that. So I say why not give the recipe for building this nation? But it entails what the country needs from every citizen of the country in terms of build that safer, more resilient nation. And that's why I came about with the recipe for building this nation. Can you tell us about one of the key messages in the song? Well, it's just appealing to every Grenadian saying, if we have to make it happen, it takes all of us. It takes a dedication, a commitment, honesty. It takes being responsible. It takes being your brother's keeper. Each one looking out for, for example, we have a COVID situation in the country right now, and each one has to look out for the other. You understand? If, so it's just by doing all the right things, also being role models, setting the example for the young ones to follow because they, they are the future tomorrow. So we also have to lead by example too. So all the things that, these are the things that the country needs from us as citizens of the country to build. We just, just say build and because we say build, we just, we just build and it just happened overnight. We have to commit ourselves. We have to make it happen. We have to do it. So you've mentioned singing Sandra. What sort of impact she had on you as an artist? Um, all the impacts. Um, I, 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 I remember when, that, when they called me and told me that from Trinidad. And I was, um, I did a post on Facebook and the only thing I could have said is, my name for her was Mother. And when I call her Mother, she would say, yes, my son. You know, and um, to, to, I would not like stand here like some people and pretend and say we had the closest relationship. Because she was an icon. And there was a lot of people who wanted to be closer just like me. You know, it's not somebody that I call and I speak to on the phone every day. But whenever we do, it's like that because, trust me, I go along with a lady and she don't even know it's something. One day I told her that in Spice Basin. I say, look at my skin. She's like, eh, but you popular too. You know, so it, it was, she had, and I, I believe not just on me, but I can speak for myself. It was always when you see her like you, you see Calypso because she represents that in its fullest, you know? Mm -hmm. 
So um, you said Calypso, you love it. What about it that you love so much and what draws you to that genre? Well, there's a lot of people don't know that. I started in Foundation Calypso. There used to be a junior competition in St. David's in the, in the, um, the St. Dominic School. So that's where I started before branching out to Soka. And then I started doing Soka, but I always had that feeling that I always loved good Calypso. I love good calypso. I like, and, and for me, I like a calypso. When a calypso and singing a calypso, the first lines or the first, you listen to it and you are like, oh, that is what he's singing about. That is what he means. Sometimes I'm not, and I'm not trying to down calypso who would write a straight song, but that was the thing for me. So I always had that, that I always had that, that feel, and I always love hearing good calypsos. I would go to the tents, I would go to semi-finals. The Sunday night here, you go be more of a back and all things. So sometimes you don't go. You have, I would go to some match, but not every year. But never miss semi-finals and some of the tents. But I always just have this, this, this feel, this connection. Always want, like listening to calypsos. A lot of times I would be home and I would be on on YouTube and watching. Well, Karen Ashe. She's one of the, I call her the, the, the now Sandra, even before Sandra passed. Because I, I like to see people who can give you a full package. S record a good calypso, but on the night, you can see them deliver, strength of delivery. Um, rendition, con people who can, who can deliver calypso with conviction. There's, there's a lot of people who can do that in this country as well too. You know, so I enjoy, that's, what, that's, one of the, that's some of the things that I really enjoy about calypso. Okay. And what position did you dip for? I think eight. The position you dipped for? Eight, number eight, yeah. Number, number eight. eight. Number eight. Okay, is, is, is position a, a key factor in an artist's performance? Um, honestly, no artist would like to sometimes go and get number one because your feet is too early, right? But I think. The positions sometimes really don't matter because it's about you and what you do. And if you want, you set a pace. You just have to, I remember in so coming like, yeah, yeah, I think it was who got number one, and every, everybody was like, oh, well, they have him dug in the hole. And when that guy went and set that pace, we had to follow. It was hard. We walked it was harder because once you go and do that, and the judge judge that, they judging everybody that comes after you, offer you. So if you go and you do your work and you do it right, sometimes I never like going dung in the in the hole like laid down always like around the middle so to, honestly today i was hoping to be like around the middle of the park not too early not too late you know so at least i could go and do my work and then judge her for me so you're happy with that um it i didn't really want to go down there but i'll do my work with it i was kind of hoping around the middle of the park right. but uh, i guess everything happens for a reason okay so um you're looking forward for this friday right definitely once you're in competition you look forward to the night like like nothing else, you're just counting down the, the seconds. <laughs> so I've asked the, um, the other competitors that I interviewed, what is your message to Grenadians when it, in relation to being patriotic and, um, and, and independence? Um, as I said in the song, it takes all of us wholeheartedly. You know, and we, we, if, we, if we mean it, our action should show it. By not just saying it, words are, I don't believe in words. I was brought up to believe that a man can tell you they love you a thousand times. But if the action don't show that, the words mean nothing. So I'm a person, I'm a person of action. I believe in action. So it, says, it takes all of us, but not by saying it, but by meaning it and doing it. And that's the only way we'll build this country and we'll build it safer, more resilient. That's the only way to happen. All of us. All, all of us. All right, well, thanks for bottom to top. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing your recipe mm. and I wish you all your best on Friday. Thank you. You're welcome.